Hi everyone, so today I am making Stella Dora and Janetti cookies, except for Stella Dora doesn't make these cookies anymore. So I just happen to be in a Brazilian market and I see these. All right. So I see these that are very similar to Stella Dora. They taste slightly different, but the gentleman at the market said that they love this in Portugal. So, so we're gonna um, fill these little guys with a pineapple cream cheese mixture. Uh, it's so sad because these cookies were my favorite. Every Christmas I would make these cookies and the company just stopped making it. I think it had something to do with the, um, the equipment. They couldn't have, I don't know what it was. I did a little research. Anyway, so this recipe is uh, eight ounces of cream cheese, which I left soften. Uh, a whole tub of, oops, move. Whole, tub, whole tub of whipped cream. I have crushed pineapple and I'm gonna drain it in a second. And then I have the cookies and I think that's it. All right, so let's start making it. So we're gonna do two, two tablespoons sugar. So I'm thinking of doing a pamper chef party. I haven't did that in a long time. I used to be a pamper chef consultant during the pandemic and it literally supplemented my income because I was furloughed down to 20 hours a week. That's when I was an hourly employee. I have since not upgraded, I since got promoted. Is that it? I got promoted. So, <laughs> focus. Okay, so we got cream cheese. We got one. All right, so we got one of this. The whole thing. Yep. The whole thing. This thing is so delicious. I literally use this recipe to um, to um, frost cake, coconut cake, uh, for Thanksgiving, which I'm gonna do a whole uh, series of Thanksgiving. So if anybody wants to follow me then, I will post what I'm doing and how I'm doing it, when I'm doing it. Okay, so that now I got a drain and it comes with a little towel right there. So this was Pamper Chef as well. Pamper Chef. Again, I'm not a Pamper Chef consultant, but this thing is one of my favorite. Okay, you're gonna get tired of me saying favorite, but this is one of my favorites. You could either put it like this, like when you drain it, over the sink, obviously, or you can pour everything in here, which is what I'm gonna do. So I got another, I got the XOXO, so I'm just gonna put it in there because we're gonna drain the liquid out of it. So I have nails, and I don't wanna break my nails, so I'm gonna use a knife. Yeah, I'm not gonna cut myself. Okay. And it calls for, one can of crushed pineapple. And there we go. And look how cool this thing is. But before I add it to this, I'm gonna whip it. Because I think that's what I should do. Well, now it's gonna sit in this juice for a second. Okay, so I'm gonna whip this. Okay. 
Shaka Khan, that's all I want to do. Then it says to add just like that. So I'm going to take my spurtle. <laughs> Alright, so that's it. That's all that's to it. That is it. I can literally put this whole thing in my mouth. I might just stand here and eat all of it. Really quick little dessert. I usually make these for Christmas. I mean, I gotta see what other kind of um, cookies I could put this mixture in because it's So today's Sunday, and today is usually my laundry day, and my filming day, and sometimes it's my just do nothing day. The best thing about getting older, so I got no kids at home. My kids have left the nest. I was really, really upset at first. I love my bubbles. But you know what? Now I feel like there's not a lot of dishes in the sink, except for when I do all this. Um, so you can't see, but I'm literally got a messy cream cheese thing here. So I literally just go like this, cutting them in half, taking a little spoon and putting it on like this and that's it and then i'm going to put it in the refrigerator now i'm going to do a lot more than this but look how nice you've a nice little platter and it's not taking me long i mean it is a little bit because i'm i'm on here but like if i did like a bunch at the same time All right, so that's it for this recipe. I'll be back on in just a short time because I am making more solid meatballs and I'm going to make zucchini pasta because my husband and I are not eating carbs. We are. I know. I know what. Thanks everybody for watching. See you soon.